So uh, last night was really a big win. I thought uh, the girls loved it. They Store, me and some of the Single City Fam guys are making a bunch of the Single City Fam ladies that are on leadership and uh, it's just some of our regulars dinner tonight. We will be having a uh, salad and then we will be having shrimp uh, Alfredo or shrimp marinara. And then we will have cheesecake. Looking or, here, uh, fellas. We're looking so good right now. We got so chicken, good. two different kinds of sauces, pasta. We got shrimps. We got garlic bread in the oven. The girls are munching on salad. We got gelato cake. Garlic bread. Fettuccine or marinara? Shrimp? Oh my God. 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 Oh my And I think last night really summed up what City Fam is all about. I, I try to explain it a lot. I'm trying to help people understand it. Um, and, you know, I think that last night was really, you know, who we are as, as a whole because I talked a lot about community and um, what that means. And it's like, look, it, it's really simple when you think about it. All of us want to become the best version of ourselves. All of us want to hit our full potential. All of us want the things that we want most in life, right? But you just, you don't get to that place. You don't get everything that you want most in life without a series of right decisions. Those decisions won't always be fun. They won't always feel good. They'll be hard. And it, there will only be possible to make that series of right decisions for the long term when you're with another group of people that can inspire you and support you and encourage you and help you do it. You can't do it alone. You might do it for a little while, but you can't go the distance alone. You know, there's a, an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together because you can't go far by yourself. And I think last night was just a perfect example of that because when you think about it, like, look, it's, it's kind of hard to be single on Valentine's Day, right? Like nobody wants to be single on Valentine's Day. It's just this great reminder of, hey, I don't have anybody in my life. So, you know, you could sit around and you may, you know, I'm sure there were a lot of people that sat around and felt depressed last night, felt lonely. And eventually that could lead to someone settling or choosing someone that wasn't maybe um, the, the exact person that they were looking for because they got lonely, right? But what we did on, the, on the, the flip side was we took all the, the, the single ladies in leadership and we made them dinner because we didn't want them to have this holiday where they felt sorry for themselves because now it makes the, the wait, you know, tolerable. You know, now they can wait for somebody to, um, the right person to come along instead of just choosing somebody out of loneliness. You know, again, I compare it to going to the grocery store hungry. You always take home something that you don't want when you go to the grocery store hungry because desperation pr doesn't produce good decisions. So, um, it's really simple. You know, when, when you think about it, it's like, look, we're going to make this process of becoming our best ver the best version of ourselves enjoyable and possible, you know? So that's really it. That's all I wanted to share. Talk to you guys later.